Yo, it's Trevelli. I'm back. And today I am breaking down the Miami Heat seven game West Coast road trip and why it's super important this season specifically. Please like, comment and subscribe. I'm dropping videos Monday through Friday. Never slacking. Now let's jump into the action. So Miami Heat are playing well as of late, uh, 10 and 14 on the season, um, currently sitting in the 10th seed in the East. Probably not something Heat fans were expecting after jumping out to the NBA Finals last season and losing to the Lakers. Now, this season, they are currently on a three-game win streak, soundly defeating the Wizards due to the lack of shooting by Bradley Beal that night and Russell Westbrook just not doing enough. The Wizards had no shot in that game. That was a great blowout for the Miami Heat. But coming into the two Knicks games, both of these games were extremely close. They were able to pull both of them out just in the nick of time as a Heat fan would say, no pun intended, beating the Knicks twice is always good for the Miami Heat. It is a great confidence builder if you're a Heat fan heading into this seven game road trip. Now, I think this is gonna be extremely important to say that all seven of these teams at the Miami Heat are going to play this season on the road, on their West Coast road trip, currently have a better record than the Miami Heat do. So as the Heat would probably say, a lot of these games are winnable. Well, the Heat probably look like a winnable opponent to a lot of these teams. So we always have to keep it into consideration. And a lot of those losses did chalk up to injuries and basically players missing games to be quarantined and some players having some legitimate injuries like Bam, uh, like Drogic, like Butler. Um, all these players have had their nagging injuries this season, which has definitely affected the Heat for the worse. Now, going into this West Coast road trip, the Heat are going to have to play the Rockets. This game is going to be extremely important tomorrow, 7.30 p.m. Eastern time on TNT National Television. I think if the Miami Heat are to win this game, it keeps their momentum going. Um, into an extremely tough matchup versus the Utah Jazz, currently the number one seed in the West, playing very solid basketball on a five-game win streak. And then follow that up with the LA Clippers, who are never an easy task with Kawhi and Paul George. Moving on to the Warriors. I mean, what else do you have to say, Stephen Curry? Uh, and then they get kind of a break with the Kings, but even the Kings are not a break because Fox is a beast. Buddy Heald is a beast. Rashawn Holmes is becoming a solid player. And uh, Michael Bagley, I actually like him. Might make a trade rumor video about him uh, coming up later in the week, but we'll get into that another time. They follow up the Kings with another insanely tough matchup versus the Lakers, a finals rematch from last year where, ironically, Goran Dragic might be out again depending on if he's available for that game. But if both of these teams are healthy, I think this will actually be a great game. Uh, the final game on the road trip is going to be the Thunder. Then they return home for four of the next five. That is why I say that these seven games are extremely important for the Heat. If the Heat are able to go four and three, their record will be 14 and 17. No real damage done. They'll be able to come home and um, play four of their next five at home and hopefully get some wins there. The confidence built by the Miami Heat by going on a seven game West Coast road trip and going four and three, as opposed to let's say two and five and three and four. Forget about just the fact that you're winning and losing losing games. You're able to stack up wins against premier teams on the road. The confidence built in those scenarios, you bring that home and then play well against teams in the future. I truly believe in momentum and the way that that can change your season. So I'll tell you guys right now, I think the Heat are going to be able to beat the Rockets who are a little banged up and have been playing better defense overall, but I think the Heat are going to be able to overpower them on the defensive side of the ball, get offensive rebounds with Wood being out, and just dominate that game. Um, I think the Heat will lose to the Jazz, lose to the Clippers. I think they'll beat the Warriors and the Kings, um, lose to the Lakers, and then beat the Thunder. So if you stack up those wins for the Heat, that would be four wins total. Uh, with three losses coming versus the Jazz, Clippers, and Lakers. I think the Miami Heat are able to go four and three on this trip. It just drastically improves their chances of getting a three or a four seed this season. The Miami Heat are currently only three games out of the three seed and 2.5 games out of the four seed. So there's plenty of time for them to rebound. I just think the time is now and this West Coast road trip is going to be daunting, but they need to pull off three to four wins to stay relevant in the East. If not, it could be doom and gloom for the Miami Heat moving forward. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and I will see you guys most likely tomorrow. Peace. Gotta get it, but you don't know how.